What's up, Hill fans? Day numero uno of the 513 balls a day for a month to see how much we improve. Today is going to be the 20 racks of nine ball against the ghost. The rules are going to be two behind the nine. If the nine is early potted, it's spotted, but still counts as a potted ball and continue play. Ball in hand after the break and we'll pot as many balls as we can and we'll mark down the ball count on this little thing here. So um, even if we're not getting breaking runs, we can still get a tally of how we're doing. And then at the end of the month, we will do it again to see if there is any improvement. So it is now 6.30 at night. Work done, fed, board, let's play some pool. So here we go with rack one with a stonker of a break, I'm sure. Oh, here we go. One down. Uh, one ball's kind of tight up against the two. I'm going to try and roll that onto the middle. I know I'm going to clip the two, so I'm going to go a little bit further. Oh, hat into turbo mode. Line up nice. Little forward roll shot there, straight, just off a of straight under the two. Should probably just try and roll this forward a little bit. There we go. Stunned it, didn't roll forward at all. I want to do a stop shot here. Eat. Did a little draw and um, cut the five into the middle. This is all going to be a bit speed control to get onto the six here. And shanked it. So, rack one over, five balls down. Rack two, here we go. Place in my safety pad. Not a bad break. One down. Put a little bit draw on here to draw over. And then I think here I try and backspin thinking it's going to go around the eight. And it doesn't. I just clear slam into the eight. The only shot I've got left is kicking it. Kicked it, bobbled it. Rack two done. Rack three. One down on the break again. So for this one here, I'm going to combo the one into the three and push the one down to the bottom corner pocket. Line her up nice. Line her up nicer. There we go. That's a good shot. Try and just stun the ball and keep it down there. Shoot the one or two all the way down. Eat, pretty good. I take a look at the four here, and I want to be below the four so I can follow up for the five. Absolutely deaded it. Now what I should have did here was just forward and did a 5-8 combo, but I didn't even look at it because I'm impatient. So I decided to go with my original plan and uh, draw it right into the pocket. Yay! Next break.
pretty good break with two down. Everything seems nice. This should be a run out if I uh, take my time. And do I take my time? Heck no, straight down to the shot, bobbled. Uh, that seems to be a consistent problem with myself is uh, not taking my time. A decent break. Another decent spread at the balls. Uh, I should probably just try and stun this one ball down towards the two. Pretty good. I should go one rail in and back for the three. And I put completely the wrong draw, like the opposite of what I should have put on that ball there. <clears throat> Ended up with off the rail, full table shot. Doink. Got it in though. And then here, I'm going to try and carry him for the six. Missed it, and missed the bank on the five. Rack over. We'll go on the next one. Break, yeet. And the five ball is the next one. The five doesn't go in many pockets here. Um, it can be anywhere apart from that right hand side. Uh, uh, sorry, the left hand side of that table. So we should be going one rail. Decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I guess that's the uh, four. I thought that was the eight. So I'm gonna be drawing this down. That's a nice position for that five ball. Cut the five ball in, off the short rail, off the long rail and back behind the six is what should be happening here. A little bit hard, um, now we should be going short rail for the seven ball in the middle pocket. That's a nice shot. Should we go forward for the eight ball in the bottom corner where I'm standing right now? And this should be just a little draw and a ball of the eight and that should have been a run out. <laughs> Next rack. Push. Nothing down on that break. I think that was one of my only dry breaks. Uh, using the magic rack, you really shouldn't have uh, any dry breaks at all. Get a good angle on the two here. Just go forward for the three. Straight down on the shot and shanked it. <laughs> Mad as heck. Nick Rack. One ball down. Two ball all the way down the bottom of the table. Computing. Just stun this towards the two. And 
and I want to go around the nine but I end up hitting the nine. So it's only going to leave me a bank shot here, which I am not the best banker. But today, um, yeah, I left a, like a 50 50 shot on the four. And missed it by like half a diamond. Next. I think I'm a little uh, square there so I don't ruin the table with the wife shouting at me. Black. It's a good break, good spread. Realistically, should be a run out. Stun this up for the three. Boop. Give me a little bit of space off the wheel to go forward for the six. This should just be a center ball shot straight across for the seven. But for some reason, I say to draw a little bit, bobbled it. Now these are four and a quarter inch pockets. They are pretty tight. No excuse, but they are pretty tight. The cloth is actually brand new, so maybe two weeks old on there. So it is pretty slippery. Andy, 600. Not a grr, bad break, but not a great break. I'm probably going to draw the one over towards the long rail for the two. Let's see if I can't break out the three. That's pretty good. Some low inside. Knocked it out real nice. Got a nice shot on the three here. I think I tried to go two rails round for the four, and I ended up behind the nine. Incorrect English. So that's something that we're definitely going to be working on, is uh, what English to use in what situations. Yeah. Nope. Reassess. Assessed jumping. Pretty close, not too bad. So here we are at a half way point. Let me see if we can do this quick math. 13, 15, 27, 20, 32, 37. We are at 41 out of 90. That is just shy of 50 percent like 46 7 percent which is a uh, actually around about where i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be around about 50 percent so it's not just too bad still haven't run any out yet should have run out two or three of these um but i am noticing in myself not taking enough time not assessing the table and obviously with all these five 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 seven four four five my first half of um, assessing the table is good and then it kind of drops off on the second half because um, I'm not after potting balls reassessing the table I'm just getting plan A and then trying to stick with that plan and manipulate that plan rather than change my game so what we're going to do now is we're going to do second half and then see if I can pick up on some of those things that I'm doing and uh, try and improve on them All right, cool. Back for another break, a little intermission there from the 
nice gentleman getting more uh, confident talking to the camera that is definitely a strange thing at the start i do a lot of talking at work so it's not too bad so here we are with a nice break and three balls down everything is open should run this out if i'm not crazy nice down for the six just a little tap over there for the five ended up over the top of the six ball not ideal trick to these is nice and slow there we go now i got on the wrong side of the six we're gonna have to go in between the six and the seven right there yeah uh, seven and the nine nice should be rolling this forward we're straight dead on after roll this forward to the middle pocket take that away here we go assessing assessing there we go nice confident stroke on that one you 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 next rack Not a bad break again, wide open. And um, one ball, two ball, opposite ends of the table. I think here what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and draw back behind the six to get in between the eight and the seven for the shot on the two. Oh, ah. hit the middle pocket definitely not ideal I think I'll go for a bank here missed it break Nice break with two in the pocket. Everything is open. Three balls down, actually. It's a good break. This should be a run out also. Well, forward for the five. Trying to get it straight on as a five if you can, so we just stop shot for the seven. End up a little bit shy, so I'll put a little bit of inside English to try and uh, check the ball. There we go. A little bit too far, but not too bad. Draw this over for the eight. Nice shot. Then this should just be a little draw for the nine. And it's too far. So just a cut shot here. Didn't even look at the ball. Shanked it. Bold spot to this guy. Break. Very close to scratch on the break there. Didn't happen though. Uh, table is not too bad should be going behind the seven to draw to the one to the two in the bottom corner where I'm standing at right now assess assess straight down the shot don't look just flap it and we're out on the first ball and unfortunately this is going to be the start of many of this the the table starts to get tilted. I start to get tilted. And uh, this is uh, kind of my first video of people watching me. So there's a, there's definitely pressure there. When you start to uh, start to fail, it, it creeps in just like that. Um, perfect shape on the two, but once again, um, sacrificing shape for potting a ball or sacrificing potting a ball for shape um nice break two's open one's open six is a hanger and it, it, that's not a hard table again so let's see how we go a 
one down and to draw across for the four oh no fantastic I got mortar there's a break Pretty wide open table, three to the four. It's gonna be pretty hard off the two. That's probably gonna be, for me, um, two to the three to the four is probably the hardest part here. I think I plan to draw straight to the three to draw straight back up the table. Yes, here I went to open bridge, which is not my normal thing here. Probably going to more draw. Put an absolute magnitude of draw on it and missed the three ball, so that didn't help. So you see how hard I was hitting it there. This is it. All right, I'll break. I have three racks left. Getting on tilt a little bit here. Uh, a little bit of self reflection. Took a little minute to compose myself. So I'm um, not doing too great on the second half here. Started missing a couple of stupid balls and it's kind of put me into like a frustration set of mind. Um, a little bit of self-diagnosis would be, um, I'm not bad because I'm bad. I'm bad because I'm lazy. Um, and I tend to miss easy shots, try to force um, position on the next ball, which I really shouldn't be doing. I taking um, easy shots for granted. It's really the ones that you miss. Um, and also, I'm um, just like uh, trying to Ronnie O'Sullivan zoom around the table, um, which I should be taking more time. Um, I think I talked my cue like three times. That's a lot. I was thinking that to myself, like how many times have I talked my cue? Like nearly zero. Um, I have a pretty good break. Um, I think that's what's saving me a lot here. With my break and some of the layouts, I should be, or should have had run a lot more of these out. But uh, let's get this last uh, final three in, then uh, we'll do a quick summary afterwards, and uh, that'll be day one, and then training starts tomorrow. <laughs> So that's me realizing I'm starting to get tilted, trying to take a minute, um, but I'm a pretty emotional guy, so it's definitely something that i um, got to work on, but I don't know. And yeet. And that right after that is definitely not going to help. So I'm uh, super excited right now. Decided just to... Uh, Keep going on this one. Obviously, still mad. Don't even look. And oh. bubble it. So definitely something to to work on. Uh, I know a few people who are kind of the same way as that. Uh, once you're in that mood, uh, when you start missing things that you expect to make, you uh, it's hard to get back on like that. So this is it. Um, yeah. Good times. Break again. Another ball in the break. Uh, a little bit too much top spin on that break there. One, two, three is all at the top of the table. Six is still dancing by the corner pocket. That should have been a stop. Uh, should have went a little bit further. Not enough angle on the two. Didn't even take one second to aim it. So clearly on a tilt. Okay, okay. Well, that was rough potatoes. So, um, as you can see, the first half of my first ten started okay. The first three matches of the second ten started okay, and then I hit this little tilt machine, and after that, it's all over. So this gives me a lot of things to work on. Obviously, um, my inner self, that's something that a thousand balls a day isn't gonna help. That's just something that I need to overcome myself. Short memory, take the misses, walk away from the table on your next shot, clean slate, and just get back to it. That's just something personally I've got to do. 
Um, my break is pretty good, apart from that one where I said my break is pretty good and I said it flying off the table. Apart from that one, yeah, my break is pretty good. It probably saved me and got me a lot of these points, to be honest with you, and I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then a lot of it is gonna be just taking my time. I just don't seem to take my time, walk around the table, so I'm gonna try and get myself my shot procedure of chalk my cue, take a full circle of the table, reassess, get down on my shot, take my shot, chalk my cue, walk around the table, reassess. I think that is probably going to be the better way to do that than obviously um, some of these uh, Englishes and shapes I was a little bit off on. I thought I would clear balls and I, I was absolutely nowhere near close. So um, that is definitely something I've got to work on also. Um, so if you have any advice or comments or anything, um, just leave a comment on the below um, there was one I was thinking of there's a movie where the guy is like too many minds just one mind and that, that's I can't remember the name of the movie if you can remember the name of the movie put that down below because that's what's kind of what it is is you're down on your shot and it's like god I don't want to miss this I'm video recording it or somebody's watching me or just uh, got to be in the moment that one shot one shot at a time so anyway and um, tomorrow we're gonna start the 513 per day and then we'll see where it kind of goes from there. Um, there I'm gonna try, you've obviously, if I could, um, listen to some um, commentary over my play there. Um, and if I couldn't work it out because I'm a boomer daddy, then you didn't hear it, but um, you get to watch it anyway and know that um, at the end I was pretty disappointed. But tomorrow will be a new day um, and hopefully in a month's time, we can beat this uh, 72 out of 180, which is like 40%, something like that. So 40% accuracy um, in baseball is good and pool is bad. So let's um, convene tomorrow. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that jazz.